all go back to the basement. Woo! We, we are all stacked up. And right. there wasn't like an easy way to do it. Like, I literally had to just like kill yep. tons of mosquitoes. But you here's just, a cool trick. You, I just did this. You just screwed attack here. Just over and over and just kind of woo. And it's cool because you, you, I mean, you get good at the timing of it and stuff. It's like practice. You know? Is that right to say screwed attack for past tense of screw attack? Well, because Whoppers Jr. is right. <laughs> I was just going to say, it's a lot like that Whoppers Jr. situation. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I screwed attack. No, it would be I, screw, screw attack. Because it's not like screw. Oh, maybe. In the past, my option was screw okay, attack. Okay, here we go. And I took it. We are, look at how like old metroid this looks Whoa. oh snap oh snap that oh. was creepy the way it was just a black background and then an eyeball Did... i was gonna say ridley looks familiar has has you fought him in the very beginning he okay yeah metroid. that's right the last metroid is in captivity the galaxy the galaxy is it's our only hope your only hope, Metroid. Yeah, that guy's voice was a bit doofy. Whoa, that was a nice little series. I get nervous about shooting missiles off screen. Like, is this registering? Yeah, is the game smart? SMRT. Something about the color of those walls. Oh, like, the colors of the walls really makes it feel old. See what I mean? I just sunk 90, 90 missiles into him, yeah. Dang, it's not like you were missing a whole lot. <clears throat> I was missling. <laughs> Semi guided missiles. <laughs> Come on. So you get a trophy when you beat Ridley? Uh, the old Super Nintendo game did not have achievements. A 3D printer in the Super Nintendo. It's turning red now. Trying to get rid of Ridley. Uh, yeah. it's, well, his tail is it's going It's expensive nuts, to get man. rid of Ridley. It's not rid free. Oh, these are bad. <laughs> Only one super missile left. Oh, right over. Is Ridley a chick? You oh, know, it's close. I think Ridley might be a boy. I'm not sure though. Ooh, you're down to 164, and Ridley's down to red. Redly. <laughs> Why did I think of that? Well, you're down to regular 74. Because she grabbed you. I think it's really the dude. Because oh. uh, Mother Brain is like in charge. Yeah. So Ridley's like a henchman. Like Katy Perry and Left Shark. I got him! Yes, Left Shark. Good dude, job, dude. Did you dude. see that? Nice work. High five. Yes! <clears throat> that first one was me clapping. The second wow, one was Wow, first high try. Five. Man, when I was little, that was impossible, man. Actual first try, guys. <sighs> I promise. I promise. Woo! What's this? TGRI? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Secret of the Ooze? Turtles 2? Did you ever have the Ooze <clears throat> candy with the turtles on no. it? No. It was like a tube of toothpaste, but instead of toothpaste, it was like liquid Ew. Jolly Rancher. Oh, that sounds okay. But yeah. like thick. It, oh. Yeah. And Sour. Like, You'd put you'd put some what's it what's up with this room? You'd put some in your well, mouth and this then is a story you would clench your teeth and it happening would just here. Stick. Do you right remember now? in the beginning that uh little baby Metroid was inside of the thing? Oh yeah. And little then Ridley baby stole Metroid it got out. and then put That's it in here. Right. And now the baby Metroid is escaped. Gone. Escaped. Gone, daddy, gone. Metroid's <clears> gone. <throat> oh. Did you see that? Whew, we needed that. Does that yes. fill us up all the way, or does it just give us one energy tank? Fills us up all the way. Oh, yeah. That's my guess. Okay. Let's see if I'm wrong. Oh, all You're the way. Right. Okay, let's see if there's a way out. Where there's no. a will, there's a way. Where Whoa, there's a bill, there's a exist. pay. doesn't exist. So, where little baby Metroid go? Whoa. 
The lava's gone. Do you think anyone's ever named their kid Galaxy's Metroid? Peace. <laughs> Metroid. Baby G Metroid. Stevenson. <laughs> Stevenson. <laughs> Metroid Weintraub. Was it just to show up at... Oh, that's right. Ridley was the last boss to kill. And then we've got that uh, statue area. Oh, the statue's and complete And that's going to be open. Okay. <clears throat> okay. What's the quickest way back there? All the way back there? Yep. But <laughs> we've got this, and we don't need to, like, stop and recharge or do any of that jazz. So this will go pretty quick. Yeah, In the meantime, true. Peter, how's yes. life? Oh, my life is pretty good. Thanks for asking. Um, you got that contract renewed, I know. I think you mentioned that. Yes, time, so. I will be working from home through June, which I'm happy about. Wow, that's a long stretch, man. Yeah. That's and, beautiful. Uh, I was doing like three things at once sort of with this contract before, but now I'm just doing one thing right now, which is really nice because you get momentum rolling good. Uh, I, so I have one meeting a week, and then the rest of the time I just am at home in my basement plugging away. That reports. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's great. Although the meetings are weird because I have like a little webcam set up and then I log in and they log in and then I'm looking at someone and they're like, Hi, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I don't know, something awkward about Spazer? TV Plasma. phone. Weird. Um, sorry, I'm checking something out here because Bazer. I'm not sure. No. I was wondering if there was a way to uh, just go to the ship because that would be way faster, but... That would be way faster. Yeah, life life is good. I got to uh, play a little bass last night. That's sweet. Uh, yep, and my wife had played bass for like two days, Straight days. before that. So the, the old bass is getting a workout. Got our money's worth a long time ago, and now it's just Tell, a, tell everybody about great. your bass. I mean, because, you know, Peter plays bass. That's true, I do. I, it's like the fifth bass I've owned, I think, and I've owned some mediocre bases, but gosh, it was... Uh, this is definitely up there with not mediocre bases. Yeah, it was like 12 years ago now, I think. Really? I, wow. I saved and saved and saved, and I, um, I Invested found... wisely in the stock market. Yep. Uh, no, not this time. Okay. I've invested unwisely, but despite that mistake, I was able to buy a base. <laughs> No, I, I looked on eBay and because I wanted a Rickenbacker bass. I looked on eBay, I looked on eBay, I was patient, I waited, and then there was a music studio going out of business and liquidating oh. all of their stuff. Oh, dude, that's yeah. a great way And so to find this a was deal. a studio instrument that had, like, they said, like 10 to 15 hours worth of play on it. That's not much at all. Yeah, and they were selling it for like two thirds of its retail price. Jeez. So I snapped it up, a little nervous about them just mailing it. But it came in a nice case, you know, like an actual Rickenbacker case, and everything's great with it. It, you know, it it felt and played like a brand new bass, and gosh, I love it. It is awesome. Yeah. I like every time I see it, I just I get a little saliva <laughs> it's a, myself. Yeah, the neck is so. For those of you who know about guitars or not, the the neck of the the bass goes all the way through. Some guitars rightly bolt the neck onto the body, but this one that goes all the way through. And the longer the neck is, usually the less flex and like warping it has over time, mm -hmm. and the more control you have over adjusting it. If you didn't know, guitars have little metal rods going through the neck that you can tighten or loosen. To called the truss rods. Yeah, called the some truss rods. Some of them rods. have one rod, some of them have dual, and they're usually pre-bent uh -huh. in directions, so that uh -huh. it kind of counteracts the weight and the 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 weight of the strings yeah because the strings are like taught like a bow and arrow string they're taught like you know small children in kindergarten they're taught <laughs> things. all right you're gonna have to play an a when you are plucked got it yeah so it's meant to counteract the the force of the strings pulling I but yeah the, i went the wrong way. the rickenbacker has two truss rods and the neck goes all the way through and i just like it it's fun i've never played with the stereo output though i'd like to try that sometime Stereo output? Yeah, you can plug a, like a quarter inch cable into it that has the two black stripes and it splits. So you could okay. send like the bridge pickup through uh, distortion to one amp and the neck pickup clean to a different amp and then really get like the best of both worlds. Just get a two good, clean, totally punchy, things. and hard, like trebly distortion okay. simultaneously. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. So that's that's my that's my base. I like it. 
That's a good bass. YouTube.com slash Peter Plays Bass. Although I don't play bass a whole lot on the channel, that was just my screen name for everything. Peter Plays Bass at Hotmail.com. Uh, uh, Instagram slash Peter Plays Bass. Probably. Twitter.com slash Peter Plays Bass. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, I play guitar a lot more than bass these days. Oh, look at that big, satisfying red X where Ridley was. Oh, yeah, it so, feels so good. Take that, like, Ridley. He ain't there no more. Okay, we're gonna go left and go up, and then we have a save and an energy thing. Oh, when, right. you, when Ridley showed up, you should have yelled, Boo, Ridley. <laughs> boo, Ridley. <laughs> boo. Did they say boo or boo words? I think they were saying boo words. Boo. I was saying, saying boo words. Are they saying boo or boo words? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Smithers tells him, are they booing me? No, no, they're saying, saying boo, boo words. <laughs> he stands up and addresses the crowd. Are you saying boo or boo words? <laughs> boo! I was saying boo words. <laughs> I was saying boo words. The old guy with the glasses. One guy. Was it the old guy with the glasses? No, it was the, um, the, let's get him, fellas. The, that voice guy. <laughs> That wasn't a great impression. He's later on. Oh, what episode is that in? I forget. The Simpsons is a great show. Watch it. Although, don't get sucked into buying the DVDs because they stopped releasing them. What? Yeah, hey, Fox, listen up. I purchased seasons 1 through 17 and 20 on DVD. And season 18 was supposed to come out at the end of last year, and it just didn't. He's not releasing them on DVD anymore, so what do you expect me to do, is sign up for the online service and pay full price for all the ser the, all the seasons? Wait, When so I've already purchased 18 seasons on physical media? No! Wow, that is kind of dumb, like, you, like it's a collector thing. Uh, so many people are collecting them too, but I guess that they're expensive to produce. Well, yeah, but the thing about it is you sell them, so then when you produce it, then you make money. Yeah, well, off of the collectors. Yeah, I had I had uh, my wife's parents buy me the new season every year for Christmas, so they paid full price for it every year. But they were happy to do it because then they never had to think of a Christmas idea for me. <laughs> yep, that's like me and like uh, music gift cards or things with Lisa's parents. They love it because it's like okay, yeah, well, we know what Ted's easy. gonna like. And... I'm Woo. fine with that too. I don't need a whole lot of. Surprises. Although this year, because of this new uh, hobby, which I'm really enjoying, I just I love doing let's plays. Oh yeah. Like, this is so much fun. Dance and everything play. about it too. Um, like because of this new hobby, I was like, hey, you know what? Uh, I could just use some Amazon money to be able to spend on the basement. You know? Oh, yeah. So I got some money that I'm going to use to invest in computer and stuff so I can do better editing and that kind of stuff. And, oh, it's just it's so much fun. You know yeah. what my one of well, my I was going to say my favorite benefit. One of my favorite benefits of doing the show is just I game more because of it. Yeah. And like I gamed when I was a kid and I, I didn't have to justify it because I had a lot of free time. Now I have to justify spending time on stuff because I don't have a lot of free time, but I'm we're, it's like a thing we're doing on purpose, right? It's more than mm -hmm. just like us playing games and having fun. It's like a good reason uh, creating a little bit of a community and like yeah, gaining uh, influence and I don't know. I mean there's you know, we've got we've got plans for the future. Haha. Oh, Big plans. So many plans. But, and also we, we put our kids and wives to bed and just stay up late and do it. So the only time we're robbing is ourselves of sleep. It's true. But, oh gosh dang, it's nice. And next time in the basement, we're gonna have to keep going. Yeah, we got some full health here. We're ready to kind of keep trucking. We're gonna be making our way back to those statues. Remember, if you remember those statues? Oh yeah, the boss statues. And the eyes pop out. Uh-huh. And uh, we're getting close to that, so we'll be able to basically be entering into the final area and possibly fight Mother Brain and finish this game. Pretty exciting. Woo! You think we're equipped well enough to do it? Hopefully. We'll find out. You're the expert. <laughs> well, see you guys next time <laughs> on the basement. Perfect.